hello, 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 hi, it's me. <laughs> um, I thought I would share some of my favourite books that I own. I thought that might be fun. Firstly, can we just appreciate my ridiculous nails? I painted them this morning. <laughs> They're kind of silly, but I love them. But yeah, anyway, I pulled out some books that I have that I think are kind of cool and I thought I would just have a quick flip through so that you can see them as well. So first I've got, this is the most recent volume of Yotsuba but it represents the whole series. I love her so much, she's basically my role model. But the art, I really love the art. I love how his characters, especially Yotsuba, is so simple but so expressive. But then also his backgrounds and details and stuff are just so beautiful. And let me see if I can find it in this one. They go to Harajuku. And it's really cool because the Takesh Tadori um, like gate is in here. There it is. Look, isn't that cool? It's so cool. But yeah, I love, I love, love the artwork in these comics. Very good. Oh my god, I'm going to be really bad at this. I'm just going to be like, here's a book I like. Here's a book I like. But you still get to look at the books, it's fine. So then, this is another comic. This whole little pile here is comics. The Now of Brown. And this is just so beautiful. It's all, um watercolour and just look just look at it it's just I just love how it's drawn and I love that it's painted and it's just it's beautiful Yep. <laughs> uh, this is a Moomin book, obviously, you can see that. It's a collection of the comic strips. Look at these end papers, oh my god, I love stuff like this so much. It's a very nice book, it feels really nice as well, it's got a nice texture. But it's literally just lots of strips, which is really cool, I love Moomin. I just love, I love how she draws and I love the stories that she tells. And this is a very lovely book. It feels so nice. And then the last comic in my comic pile is another one that represents the whole series, but I've just picked up the first volume. Although, oh my god, I only have book one and book two of these and now they're out of print and book three and book four are going for like at least 70 quid each second hand and I'm just kicking myself every day for not buying them. They're not even available at the minute. The license went from Dark Horse to Kodansha, I think. And they're doing like big fancy limited edition like collector's ones. And they're not doing them in the, cause this is like three, oh, this is the second one, not the first one. This is three of the original volumes in one book because there's originally 12 volumes and then they did four of these and now they're doing 12 volumes again but they're like A4 beautiful collector editions ones so I just don't have half of it and I'm so annoyed at myself for not just buying them but anyway that's not why we're here I just went on a massive rant about it okay let's actually have a look inside I just love clamp artwork and I love this story as well, and all the characters, and it's just beautiful. I think this is one of the first um, manga I ever read. And I remember the first time I read it, there were a lot of the more busy panels. I found it really difficult to like read the image, because there's so much going on. And I remember thinking, like, oh, I can't see what's happening. But now that I've read a lot more manga and like shoujo stuff, I look at this now and I'm like how could I not see it like it's weird you just I guess you learn to read it 
you just get used to it. And now I, I find it strange that I thought it was too busy. But yeah, I love this stuff so much. I just think it's beautiful. And there's the colour pages as well in here. Some of the pin-up pages. And it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Ooh. This books are so hefty. Here's the Adventure Time Art of Ooh book. Get my strap out of the way. Which is really cool. Again, look at these end papers. Oh, I love it. I love a nice book. Sorry to yawn. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to flip this. I'll just have to turn some pages. But yeah, there's just lots of really cool artwork. There's like stuff like this, like the backgrounds. And then there's lots of like character design stuff, which is really cool. And it talks about how they like went through the process of making it all up and like how putting the animation together works and stuff. See, there's all things like this. And it's just, it's really interesting. And the artwork is just so cool. I love Adventure Time. And there's lots of sketches. Um, lots of things. See, like in here, there's like rough drafts and prog progress shots, whatever you'd say. <laughs> the logo. And then there's like big, beautiful pages like this. And yeah, it's just. It's really, really cool. And then we've got this Wes Anderson book, which is pretty neat. <laughs> Again, the end pages. Oh, look at them. They're so cool. Yeah. Sort of like photos from on set. This is pretty cool. This is really cool. I love seeing stop motion stuff like on set it's really cool god it's so cool oh my god it's so cool look at this isn't it cool <laughs> i'm sorry i'm so bad at this hopefully it's interesting anyway you get to see the books at least these are like storyboards or something it's really interesting I love getting to see all this stuff And then I've got four of the Ghibli art books and they're just beautiful as well. Look at all this artwork, oh my god. Oh, 
think even just having stills from the film printed in a book is really nice, let alone having all of these extras. And then there's like the script at the back. And we've got How's Moving Castle. Sorry, I keep like huffing and making funny noises. I'm a little bit a little bit tired and under the weather so everything is a, is a big effort <laughs> I hope it doesn't sound weird yeah, look isn't it cool isn't it cool I wish I could say things that were interesting maybe I should just shut up completely and let you just look at it but that doesn't seem to be happening <laughs> Spirited away. I love this stuff. I love getting to see all these things. And I love books. I love having books to look through. Like, I love collecting images online as well. And, like, I have folders on my computer full of stuff that I find. But there's just something about having it in a book. It's just, it's just nice, so it's easier to... I don't know. Not easier, I guess, to look at. But just there's something about it. I like a book. And the last Ghibli one is... Da -da -da. The first Ghibli film I saw, I think. Cat bus. <laughs> Look. Oh my god. I just love them so much. Look at these drawings. They're all so beautiful. And this, I love the opening to Totoro. It's so good. And then, fruits collection book. I really want, um, I think it's fresh fruits, the second one of these. I'd love to have some of the actual magazines as well, but that's less likely. But I love looking through this so much. This is not falling open properly either. But yeah, in case you do not know of fruits, it's Japanese streetwear, I think 90s and 2000s it covers and it's just I love it I just love looking at all the details of what people were doing and how they were putting things together and it's just I really love it it's just so cool I love it when people just express themselves however they want to even when people are doing similar things you like put your own twist on it and it's just really interesting and I just love it And I love that it got documented as well, because especially pre-social media, like it just would have all been lost, I guess, but it's, it's really cool. Although I guess stuff kind of is getting lost with social media. I don't know if anyone's archiving any of it in any kind of a way. That's kind of an interesting thing. I don't know. I mean, it just gets pushed down a feed, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know. That's a different thing. And then this is the last one I've got out, the Gothic and Lolita Bible. This was given to me quite recently, actually. One of Will's friends was getting rid of it and she thought I might want it and I died. I was like, yes, I want that. It's so cool. I love looking through this as well. And this is uh, 2005. So it's amazing. Oh, 
I'm going to drop it. love it I love 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 I love all the pages with just like this stuff with all the clothes and accessories laid out and then I love the the models beginning I really love look it's Miku on cafe <laughs> um, yeah look I love this look at the backgrounds isn't that cool I think it's awesome oh look she's so cute oh my god look awesome but yeah that's the last one I think if it works I'm gonna show you the next couple of books that I would like to get I'm gonna try and screen record showing you those if that doesn't work then I'll just list them so that you can have a look if you're interested but I'm gonna try and add that on now but if that doesn't happen then I guess this is the end and thank you for humouring me while I just get to have a look through some of my books <laughs> and I hope that you enjoyed it as well because I love books I think everyone loves books so yeah hopefully you liked it and thank you for watching and I hope that you are having a nice day <laughs> there are so many books that I would love to own <laughs> but these are my current top three this Nakayoshi official art book, which I think was for the 65th anniversary. There aren't any pictures on here, but I found this person um, did like a flip through. Just look at it. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Oh, oh, I want to own this. I really, 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 really would love, love, love to have a look through this book look at it oh my god yes please um <laughs> and then also this card captor sakura 20th anniversary book oh my god i love all the clamp artwork this is um like the fandom wiki page these are like scans from it imagine having these printed oh my gosh i would love a book of these because like i don't blah, blah. <laughs> There's a couple of colour pages in the manga that I have, and they're beautiful. Imagine having them art book sized, and so many of them. Oh, yes please. And then the third one is the Sebastian Masuda paint it colourful art book that he recently, maybe last year, I don't even know anymore. But anyway, his art book, oh my god, do I want this? Very much please, yes. Look, look, and there's like sketches, and oh look at it, it's so cool. Oh my god, I'm like pointing at it with my hand but you can't see that <laughs> but yeah I really really would love 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 to have a look at this book as well so yeah those are my top three books that I would love to get next they're not that expensive it's just once you add postage and stuff and yeah so hopefully Hopefully it won't be too long. Hopefully I will be able to get myself some lovely new art books soon. But I thought I would show them to you anyway just because I think it's interesting. Even if I don't have it, it's cool to show it to you. I don't know if it is. Hopefully it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I hope that that was interesting. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> Ah, it's so awkward. <laughs>